I'll find proof. I'll convince you. Proof? I'm already convinced that you killed him. I'll prove my innocence. And how do you want to do that? I'll go to the crime scene and search it. I must be able to find something. All right. But remember, you don't have much time. Got it? Dead man. Jesus. That man can't be normal. Why should I be the one to kill Petrenko? Today's the first time I've heard about him. Damn. I wonder how I'll get out of this fix. Hi, kitty. Where did you come from? It seems purebred. It's probably been abandoned. Here, kitty kitty. Don't be scared. Ah, you scatty bitch. Not very friendly. Good day, how can I help you? What's going on here? I have to arrange something inside. I'm sorry, but that won't be possible. Please leave. And why? Look, at this rate I should be the one questioning you. But I can't be bothered, so I'll just repeat myself once more. Leave. Because if those metal boxes here that you want to arrange something in there, they'll drag you away. But why? They have no reason to... Well, to begin with, they don't need a reason. Not to mention the fact that a man was murdered here, and he was no common tramp. Murdered? Who was murdered? And who did it? Do you have any leads? That's not my problem. At least not now. You don't know who was murdered? Look man, you're really starting to piss me off. It's none of your business. Are you always this curious? Well, you know. It's in my blood, I guess. Alright, I guess it won't hurt. Either me or that man. Petrenko. Professor Petrenko. How was he killed? Jesus, man, this is too much. I'm losing my patience, and this conversation is over. Understood? Wait. You're responsible for investigating the case, aren't you? Not me. I don't give a damn. I just stand here and wait until those metal boxes go away. So you're just guarding the place? Why? Aren't you with the police? I'm... Why? The old types have been quite faulty lately. I really am with the police. But even there, we have errand boys. And look... If you don't stop prying, you'll get scraped up and bundled off by these numbskulls. As well as me. What do you mean? Look, it's not funny anymore. Not only is it none of your business, but moreover, you can't do anything about it. And the way you're talking is dangerous. Okay, but maybe I can help. Look, I need to get inside and I'm willing to do almost anything to get in there. Well, maybe. Damn. Alright, look. I investigated a particular case. Someone murdered an important man from the government district. And right here in the slums, quite deep inside in the ruined supermarkets where the squatters stay. Do you at least know where that is? I think I know, yeah. And now? Well, I simply couldn't solve it. I was unable to find the murderer. It had to be one of those good-for-nothings. But I, I have no idea which one. If you could help me, I questioned the family there. A mother, a father, and a little daughter. Well, little. Fourteen, maybe fifteen years old. Quite a pretty girl. And she suffered from it too. She was probably selling herself to him in exchange for food. And often got beaten up by him. You mean a dead man from the government district? Most likely. But the girl told me nothing but lies during the interrogation. And when her parents disappeared, for some reason later on, she stopped speaking altogether. I don't know why or where they disappeared to. I think it's connected somehow, but I can't prove it. You said you needed to get inside. I'll get you there. That's no problem. Just find me some leads. How do I know I can trust you? <laughs> you you'll have to. 
That iron scrap will be investigating here for a pretty long time, I guess. Several days, at least. All right. What shall I do? I'll try something. I don't know, she's a policewoman. Degraded and willing to do anything to get her position back, but still a policewoman. But I probably don't have another possibility. I hope she won't let me down. I'll have to be terribly careful. Come to protect your country and fight the enemy. War needs you. This must have been here for a while. Well, at least since the war. Interesting couple. A homeless man and a malfunctioning android. Greetings. May I have a few words with you? Nice jacket, buddy. What about exchanging it for something? We would like it. What do you say, Tin Box? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, Tin Box would like it too. No thanks. I'd rather keep it. All right, all right, all right, as you wish. So what do you want? We're listening. How long have you been living here? Do you mean here in Prague? Here under that market? Or here together with Tin Box? Well, just... here. Unemployed. Yeah... Yeah, that has been a really long time. I stopped counting it already. But surely no less than ten years? Hmm. That's a really long time. Sure is. Luckily I have Tin Box here. He helps me out a lot. Am I right, you old rusty old can? And how did you end up here? <laughs> Same way as all the others. What a surprise, huh? I simply went to work as usual. I was stopped at the gate, and they took away my personal card. I thought at first, yeah, I'm gonna avenge myself. I'm gonna find the resistance, and that's gonna be it. But nothing's as easy as it seems. I didn't find the resistance. Instead, I swallowed the bait of some bastard who was probably just making fun of me. Well, and then I met this old tin box here, and we've been struggling along together since then. What? Have you lost your tongue? Huh? No. No, I was just thinking. What or who is this tin box anyway? It looks like a broken android. Tin box? He's a sort of my faithful friend. And a little bit of revenge, too. Revenge? What do you mean? Once I was hanging around the places where fighting with androids took place, I found him lying there. He was the least damaged android there. But when I turned him on, he was unable to walk. So he couldn't run away from me. And because I grew tired of listening to all that bullshit about arresting me, I've turned off all his speech circuits, too. I may talk to him and he just creaks. He never opposes me. <laughs> Perfect companion. But I still don't understand what you said about revenge? Androids took away my life. So I've taken an android. Maybe it's not much, but it means a lot to me. Now I understand. Moreover, it's worth a fortune. I can exchange it for anything. So you exchange things? Sure, buddy. There's no other way to make a living here. And shouldn't it be called theft instead? Bullshit! I'm no thief! I only took what nobody else wants. Or I exchange things for other things. All right. And what can you offer me? Wrong question. The right one is, what are you able to offer me? Not my jacket, I'm afraid. All right, but you would get a lot for it. But I like my jacket, and I want to keep it. Your problem. But if you want to exchange something else, I'll be glad to help. 
I'll be going. Thank you. No problem. Go. This must be the goods from the old supermarket. I'll take the cork. I don't need anything else. You said you exchange things. I'd like to exchange something. Continue. We're listening. I have this here precious stone. Precious, you say? And what do you want for it? Actually, I don't know. But I don't need the stone, and maybe you can give me something better. Look, buddy. We both know it's just a common stone. But on the other hand, I like it. I'll give it to Tinbox. It'll suit him. Shut up, you. I'm trying to do business here. So we're gonna do a fair exchange. You give me the stone you don't need, and I give you some fruit sauce I don't like. Fruit sauce? Are you serious? I'm dead serious. It's a little bit old, made from plums. There are plenty of them in that market. I feel sick just looking at it. Ah, enjoy. Oh, it smells like shit. It's not gonna bite me, is it? No, man, it's just fermenting a bit. There was lots of those around the supermarket. It may come in handy. I got this fruit from the homeless man. It doesn't look edible. Re reporting a resistance member is not a duty, it is a necessity. Of course, couldn't disagree. Disease of the century, a new multiple vaccine. Bastards, shame on them. When people were dying of it, the price of the vaccine was sky high. Protect your card, that's a good one. Pity I didn't read that before they took mine. Poor girl. She must have been through a lot. There's something under her left hand. Looks like a book. Hi. May I speak with you? Well, it seems I can't. I'll try to take the book carefully. She might not notice. She smashed. I took her diary and she didn't even notice. It has a lock, so I can't open it. I can't force the lock, I might damage it. Bad idea. 